Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. My name's Allison and today we're going to be unboxing my Scentsy Club haul. If you're not familiar with Scentsy Club, I will be doing another video that talks about it in more detail, but basically what it is, is it's a free subscription service by Scentsy that allows you to have consumables shipped to your home on a monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly basis. Mine is currently set up on a quarterly basis, so I get my order every three months. Scentsy Club has a lot of awesome features, but my favorite feature is the Always Get My Bar. What that is, is if a bar is available, you can put it in your Scentsy Club, and then even after Scentsy stops making that bar, you can still continue to get it forever since you will make it just for you as long as you keep it in your club. So like my club, basically everything in it is items that are not in the current catalog. Bring back my bar items, past promotional items, past catalog items that I really love. I don't want to live without and I can continue to have them in my club for as long as I want. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's in my club order. Uh, the first item I have is not a wax, but it is a consumable. It's a blue light bulb. This is a 25 watt light bulb. Um, and they're the same price as the regular bulbs. They're $2. These are really fun. You can use them um, for different settings, different, you know, if you want less light, that's a, maybe a darker one like blue or purple. You can use them for decorating. Christmas time, you might have a green and a red bulb out. That's what I'm doing during the holidays. Um, and so they're really fun to just kind of switch things up without having to necessarily switch your warmer. Um, the blue and the purple were new to the catalog fall winter 2020. And that's also when Sensi came out with the colored 15 watt bulbs. So now you can put them in your mini warmers. So these are a lot of fun. Um, and I just love playing around with the different bulb colors. So let's, uh, let's talk about wax got a lot of wax here um, and I do uh, share my club with my sister-in-law so some of these are hers uh, they're not all for me but we both love Scentsy and we never want to be without so we we have this club subscription the first scent I have in here is Atlantic Air this is my sister-in-law's but this is a wonderful clean fresh scent if you love clean fresh Atlantic Air is amazing um this is more of a spring summer scent but it's really great to use year round and it's a pretty good performer it lasts quite a while uh so that is atlantic air the next one we have is johnny appleseed i love johnny appleseed because it's just fresh apple um i believe the scent notes in it are actually apple and like pear peel but I don't really get that I just get fresh like Macintosh apple and I really love this for like early fall it's good year round but it's nice in the fall because it's so hard during the fall winter season to find apple scents that don't have cinnamon or spice in them and if you're not a big cinnamon fan you know that can be challenging but this this is so great. Um, so this is Johnny Appleseed. The next one we have in here is Havana Cabana. Havana Cabana is a really fun tropical free summer scent. Um, obviously all of these I enjoy year round because I'm warming them right now, but this was one of the first ones that I really fell in love with, with Scentsy. Um, I believe the scent notes are like pineapple, banana, other tropical fruits, but I mostly just get like a fresh pineapple. Mm, but I like this a lot more than pineapple pucker. This is really, really good. It is a powerhouse. It performs really great in my house and it lasts a long time. I feel like this bar doesn't get the attention that it should. It's kind of a dark horse. Like I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but if you like tropical fruity scents, you can't go wrong with Havana Cabana. I highly recommend that one. The next one we have is a bestseller for a reason. This is Luna. This actually is available on the current catalog. Um, my sister-in-law got this because it's one of her favorite scents and with good reason. This is, it's in the floral category, but it's not like a powdery floral. It's a fresh floral. And in fact, in the fall winter 2020 catalog, it is the only floral in there. It 
it made the cut year round. This is a, a Scentsy staple. It's so good. And it is a powerhouse in every form that I've tried it in. I had it in the car bar clips that clip onto your vents in your car. And it lasted for months. And then I got a different scent. So I put it on my vents in the back of my car. And I could still smell it. Um, this scent just, she goes and goes and goes. So Luna is a good one. Like if you're trying to get something for someone that you don't really know what scent uh, preferences they have, almost everyone likes Luna. I've never met anyone who doesn't. So that is Luna. The next one we have is Twitter Pated. Um, this is from the Bambi collection. Um, no longer available, but I have it in my club because it is wonderful. It is a fresh fragrance. It's like a fresh, I don't know if I'd call it earthy, kind of, uh, but it's like a green. And I believe moss is one of the notes, but it's not like an overpowering green. It is really good. It kind of reminds me of um, prickly pear and agave, but not um, not quite as sweet as that. This is, has a more green note. I would call this a medium to strong performer and fairly long lasting. The next one I have is, <laughs> speaking of which, prickly pear and agave. Uh, this is for my sister-in-law and this is so good. It's a fresh one. I believe it was in the floral category when it was in the catalog last, but um, it definitely has a fresh note to it. It's, like I said, a little bit uh, like the Bambi Twitter painted, but a little bit sweeter. So mm, this is really, really good and another good performer. Um, if you'll notice, there's a theme. <laughs> I tend to get ones that I feel are more powerhouses for my club, that I'm going to get really get my bang for my buck. I know that they perform well. I know they last a long time. Um, I have several areas in my house that are challenging as far as getting good performance out of. Um, I have an open concept. I have other rooms in my house that for whatever reason, they don't necessarily um, have the best performance issues for wax. So I try to get waxes that I can enjoy in all of my spaces and that tend to be good performers. The next one we have is Windowsill Breeze. This came out in, I believe it was summer 2020, maybe late spring, as part of the International Collection where Scentsy featured five bars that were bestsellers from different regions internationally. Um, and I think this was a bestseller in Australia, maybe New Zealand. This one is really great, and it's actually still available in this scent in the laundry line um, as of Fall Winter 2020 catalog. So if you didn't get a chance to pick it up on wax, it's a perfect laundry scent. Um, I have this because it is a powerhouse. This thing is so strong. Um, surprisingly, I, uh, my bathrooms, which are small spaces, are challenging zones to to warm fragrance and have them perform well and this is always a great go-to for my bathroom and it is it's it's a fresh laundry so mm, it almost kind of reminds me of like a fabric softener um not downy but something similar to that so if you like those kind of scents this is a great one and by the way even though a lot of these may not be available in the current catalog, it's always a good idea to jot down ones that sound interesting to you because you may be able to vote for them and bring back my bars. They may come back and bring back my bar or a future catalog. And I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't bring back some of these international waxes because they did really well when they were out. Um, so that is Window Silveries. The next one I have, I threw this in my club to try it. I haven't tried it yet. But I don't know, you guys. I just don't know. This is um, from the Find Your Happy collection, and it's Wild, Barefoot, and Free. So Find Your Happy collection came out in August 2020, and it had, um, you know, different kinds of happy scents. And they had, like, a floral and I think a fruity one and some other ones. But this was kind of like the fresh green one. And I heard a lot of people say that they liked it. Uh, I heard a lot of people say it smelled like... Um, Irish spring soap 
And, you know, my husband, he uses Irish Spring. He likes this. So we thought we'd give it a try. But I don't know. I'm smelling it on cold and I get almost a little too much green. It's like, uh, it reminds me a little bit of Rainforest Bungalow or I hate to say it, but Fiddle Leaf Fig. Fiddle Leaf Fig is just too green intense for me. Even though I like green, it's, it's too much. And this up a little bit of that. I will warm it because you never know until you warm a bar. A lot of times they can smell completely different on cold versus after you warm them. So I'm definitely going to warm it and we'll see. And I'll have time to determine by my next club shipment if it's going to make the cut or, or, um, go bye-bye. Okay. So the next one we have is now and Zen. This is a beautiful fragrance. I love this. This is um, I think it's like a, got a grapefruit note in it, but it's like a fresh, fresh, clean grapefruit. Oh, it's so nice. A little bit of a like perfumey note almost. Um, this is a great bedroom scent. I love this in the bedroom. Uh, this one is actually my sister-in-law's too, but I have some of my own on hand and it's so great. I'm so glad that this is in the club because it's wonderful. I would say... I wouldn't necessarily call it a powerhouse, maybe a medium to strong on performance, but it lasts a long time. And the other thing I want to say about it really quick is it's one of those ones that the scent changes a little bit over time. And I really enjoy that when you smell certain notes on one day and then maybe more of the top notes. And then a few days later, you smell the base notes and you go, hmm, what's that? It's a different kind of smell. Uh, this has that. It is more complex than you would think it is. So that's now in zone. Okay, the next one is another new one that I got to try. I haven't warmed it yet. This is Monsters, Inc. Monstropolis. And I am so excited about this. Um, it's a limited edition. I'm not sure if it's still available. Uh, I think it's available to put in your club, but I'm not sure. Um, may or may not still be on the general website. However, um, the reason I picked this up is because March, maybe February 2019, um, there was a promotional license item of um, Alice in Wonderland, We're All Mad Here, and I got the Scentsy Buddy of that, and I got a bar, and I absolutely love, love, love that scent. But that was before I had Scentsy Club, and I used my bar, and then it was gone, and the scent went away, and I was really sad. Um, so when this came out, a lot of people were saying that it reminded them of We're All Mad Here, and it reminded them of Be Fabulous. Be Fabulous was April 2020 scent of the month, and it's a really nice, like, kind of grapefruity scent. Um, and Alice in Wonderland, uh, We're All Mad Here, it's kind of like a fruity, lemony, but it's got that effervescence, that kind of bubbly note. It's crazy how they can do that in scents, but it is. It's like a bubbly note. So I smell this on cold and oh my gosh, you guys, that is what I get. Look at this beautiful purple color. I love purple. I love this color, but it is, mm, it smells so good. You get that, that effervescence in it. And, um, if, so if you like, we're all mad here, or if you like now and Zen, I think you're really going to like this. So that is Monstropolis, and I can't wait to warm that. The next one we have, we are about halfway through the bars here. So the next one is Satin Sheets. This is a wonderful romantic scent. I believe the notes in here are like sandalwood, vanilla. You know, I don't know all of them offhand, but it's got some um, really nice romantic notes to it. A great bedroom scent and it's actually a really strong performer um it's one of those scents for me where I can smell it and then I like go outside leave the room and I can still kind of smell it like in my nose it it's really good my mom likes this one um I don't know if it's gonna come back because they keep like putting it in the catalog taking it out putting it in taking it out it's like I don't know what they're doing so I have it in my club where it's nice and safe and I can get it forever Okay, moving on. The next one is Ghostly Greetings, and I actually have two of these. One for me and one for my sister-in-law. Ghostly Greetings was the September scent of the month, and um, I'm really glad that I got it. 
when I read the scent notes, I wasn't too sure because it listed like pink pepper, patchouli. I think it did have some plum in there and I do love plum. But um, this is one of those scents people tend to either love it or hate it. And I'm definitely team love, obviously. It's a nice, um, deep, deep scent, I guess is what I would call it. Um, I would warm this year round. So this is, this is amazing. I love this. It's a strong performer. It lasts forever. And it's just, it's very unique. I would say that of all the scent of the months for 2020, this one has been my favorite. It's really hard to describe, but it is great. So if you didn't get a chance to pick it up, um, if it ever comes back and bring back my bar, pick it up because it is amazing. That one, I can't move without that. Okay, we're, we're getting down there. So the next one, oops, the next one is Bonfire Beach. This one I kind of just took a chance on. Um, my daughter suggested it. I add it to my club and oh, it is so good. A lot of people call this a dupe for um, Bath and Body Works. Uh, I don't know what they, I, I'm having a brain fart. It's like around the campfire or something like that. Marshmallow or something. Um, but I'm, I don't know. Anyway, I've never smelled that, but I know I've smelled this and I love this. It is a nice smoky scent. Um, but then you get the sweetness from the marshmallow, a little bit of the, the beach smell. It's a very strong performer. It's a powerhouse and it goes and goes and goes. The last time I had this in, it was in for like a week and I just changed it out. Not because the scent was gone. It was still throwing, but I just wanted to change my wax. So I love this one. Um, it's great. Bonfire Beach. The next one we have is, um, from the Bring Back My Bar collection and this is coconut cotton. Coconut cotton is a fresh coconut, fresh cotton scent. And it's great. I would say this is maybe medium to medium strong. Um, but it's really great. And I just noticed one must have fell out of my box here because, oh, there it is. So these are like um, sister ones to me now. Um, coconut cotton and fuzzy blanket. Fuzzy Blanket is amazing. It was originally in the catalog before Jammy Time. And then when Jammy Time came, it basically replaced this. But this is a nice lavender calming scent. It is it's so beautiful. I love it. It's great for a bedroom. Really for anywhere. Um, both of these on their own are great. They're both kind of medium performers. But this sounds like a weird combination. But you mix the two together. And it is magic. Um, coconut cotton, fuzzy blanket mixed together. It's amazing. So because of that, even though for me they're not the strongest performers, I have to stay in my club because great on their own, magical together. Okay. Um, we only have a couple, two more bars because this one I already talked about. This one, my sister-in-law and I each got one of the Monsters, Inc. Um, so we're almost done here. Um, next one is Rio Beach. Rio Beach is so good. This one came out in the um, spring summer 2020 Bring Back My Bar, which is also where Fuzzy Blanket and Coconut Cotton came out of. And this is, mm, I just, this gives me all the feelings of being on a, a warm sandy beach in the summertime, maybe sipping a pina colada, just enjoying life. It's so like calming and it just, it, it gives me such a good feeling. It just reminds me of summer. I love it. And I think it has, um, Tonka bean in it, which is kind of like a vanilla coconut. I'm not exactly sure offhand. I don't remember what all the scent notes are, but it's great. It's a very strong performer and it lasts forever and does super well in my open concept. So this is one of my favorite Scentsy scents, and this is going to stay in my club forever. Um, we have one more, and then we're going to talk about my half-price item. So the last bar we have is for my sister-in-law. This is Hibiscus Pineapple. This is um, a really nice, I think it might be in the fruity category. It was new to the catalog spring-summer 2020. Yeah, and 
The name is Hibiscus Pineapple. If you read the main notes in that catalog, it actually did not list pineapple, but you know that it's somewhere, whether it's mid or base notes, because it's in the description. And then of course, Hibiscus is, is a flower, um, a tropical flower. So this is really good. It's a sweet one. It almost kind of reminds me of like bubble gum, but, but not, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's really good though. Um, okay. So that's the wax. Um, but that should get us through for a little while. And I'm just briefly going to talk to you guys about what I got for my half price item. So with Scentsy Club, if you spend $60, then you get a half price item. So I chose the Whiff Box, which is normally a $30 item, and I got it for $15. And this is the Whiff Box. I'm not going to get into it in this video because I'm going to do an unboxing of it in a different video. But basically... It's a monthly surprise box. You don't need a subscription. You can get it outside of Scentsy Club. You can get it one time, whatever you want to do. But it's a new box every month. Um, and it's a $30 box normally if you don't get it in Scentsy Club. But it's guaranteed to have at least $30 worth of items. And it's usually about $38 or $40 worth of items that it has. And it's usually seasonal. So... This one will probably be more winter based, um, but it's just a really fun surprise thing. Um, another thing you can do with your half price item is you can get in Scentsy Club a brick. So bricks are, I think, $24. You could get a brick for $12. That's like a whole pound of wax for the price of two bars. That's a really good deal. Um, the washer whiffs are $30 or just get just get a bar for half price even. Um so that is my Scentsy Club haul. Like I said, I plan on doing a video where I talk about the whip box and also more about Scentsy Club and how to utilize it and, you know, really make the most of it if that's something you're interested in. I thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, if you did, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye.